everyone. It's been a while since I've made something on the channel, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, it's going to be simple. Anybody can do this one at home, providing you have the correct materials and the proper supervision by an adult, uh, if you're not one. Um, my wife's at work, so I'm alone on this. So I think I got this handled. Uh, she has a Christmas town, and I wanted to help her add to it this year. So um, instead of running out and buying a bunch of stuff, you know, pre-made, because that holiday town stuff can get expensive, um, I decided to make some stuff. I'm just going to make some little things to go with it. Um, I could, you know, make like a house or something and 3D print it or um, I don't know, make it out of popsicle sticks or something. That might be fun. We'll film that too. But um, I've got this oven baked clay. I've used the um, Super Sculpey brand before, but um, when I went to the hobby store, I'm assuming a lot of people have the same idea I did for making stuff for Christmas. So I'm going to go with this brand. Uh, it's, um, I say, Kato Poly Clay. Kato doesn't sound right. That wouldn't be good English either, I guess. Kato uh, poly clay, it's you bake for 300 minutes. Uh, not 300 minutes. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Bake at 300 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending upon thickness. <laughs> thickness. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, the figures need to be about, oh, two and a half inches tall. At maximum I think because that's the largest figure uh, I found um, so for this you'll need if because we're gonna make a snowman I don't know if I've mentioned that we're gonna make a snowman I could make a I might make little candy canes too uh, but you need white and since uh, predominantly I want to make snowman and stuff I got a large block of white and it's you know uh, ubiquitous you can make whatever and then paint it uh, but then I got a couple colors of things I think I'll need um, which one is this he being colorblind brown black orange you know for the carrot coal for the black for the coal red because uh, I might make those candy canes and um, um, bows scarfs whatever and then green because you know that's primary color no it's not secondary color um, might make like a little um, holly leaves or a wreath or something um so that that covers the building materials but um i, I tried to find some more of the um, sculpting tools they're like almost look like dental picks but they have little rounded uh knobs on the end for smoothing and sculpting i used to have some don't know where they are but i'm gonna make do with what i got and um again everybody's bought up what they could at good old hobby lobby and i didn't feel like going to michael's um, plus the poly clay was like 30% off. So, um, chopstick, you know, one of, it's not like a super expensive one. In fact, I think these ones are meant for like hair. Um, but you know, just something with a rounded tip, pointy helps. Um, also going to use, I have a small collection of just cheap dental picks from Harbor Freight. So we have that, um, Zacto knife. I actually got it an exacto brand exacto knife now. Just been rocking those cheap hobby level ones. Um, and then uh, a ruler or whatever your measuring device is, centimeters or inches. And I uh, just figure out what scale you need to work with. So first I'll start with making the body of the snowman, then we'll add little diddly bits in it. And uh, hopefully this won't be a long video. In fact, uh, I might post this video separately of just the uh, making process so I might put that on like Facebook or other places so open this up and see how that goes if, uh, if the crinkling bothers you uh, sorry you know I'm not running an ASMR channel although somebody once said that my one of my videos sounded like one I think it was when I was putting the stickers on the um, Game Boy So we'll just peel off a chunk. 
Don't have it in here. Uh, one of those like long disposable blades would be good. One of those ones that click out really far. I have one, but it's not in here or handily accessible. So uh, I can already tell this clay uh, is the kind that needs to get a little warm before it'll become more pliable. It also feels less dense than uh, Super Sculpey. The first one I'm going to make about an inch in diameter. Oh yeah, it gets a lot more pliable when it warms up. And I'm assuming, like most other clays of this type, um, once you've baked it, you can probably also um, sand it if it's not looking quite right. And then I'm going to go down about a I'd say make it about a third smaller, and then I'm gonna. This can be one of those three-tier snowmen, and then a third smaller after that. Let me. We'll figure out if my ratios are right on this or not. Squish it down on there. If it doesn't seem like it's setting right, just kind of get in between the bits and kind of push them together. Oh, well, that's going to work with that tool. Seems to be sticking together pretty well. And um, one trick is if you don't leave it perfectly round and kind of squish it down it gets the feeling of weight like um, you know like it's settled down into itself and that that to me that helps it look maybe more realistic as you know I guess real as a tiny little snowman can be I'm just going to put buttons and make the eyes. Um, I could try and sculpt a little face into it, but this is supposed to be super simple. Uh, oh, about two inches. So we're going to go with that. Um, that's probably about the size I wanted to shoot for anyways. Okay, so there's your body. Now we just need to make little pieces of coal for his or rocks or where it's going to be um, for the I'm going to put buttons and little dots for the mouth and eyes and then I'll cut out um, like a little carrot for his nose won't well, need but hardly any of this unless you're making tons of these things So it would just work it between your fingers just a little bit to warm it up. Then for this, I'm just going to roll it out to the rough diameter I think they should be. And then I'll use the X-Acto knife to cut it up. And so that way they'll all be about the same size-ish. It sticks to the blade so you can kind of just line it up, keep going. I, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I put tape around the. Um, that one's going to be a little bigger. I uh, put tape around um, where the camera viewing is so I can roughly try and stay in frame. I hate it when I'm watching a video and 
somebody drifts off while we're trying to make something, so I'm trying to do my best not to do that. Look at this. Give me a second, I gotta switch to my ring bus. Let's separate these out. If they're not exact, that's fine because, you know, just variances. So just roll those like little boogers. <laughs> These little balls they have to be perfectly round. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. Is that the right size? Yeah. I probably made more than I need. Uh, this might need to be a little smaller. And just kind of put a little end it so it gives it a place to sit and it kind of looks like it's been pushed in. I think two is there, it's fine. So that it looks like it's sitting in the snow instead of on top of it. Push that in. I might need to make some of these a little smaller. First, I'm going to put the eyes in. It's okay if those are a little bigger. But I think the mouth might need to be adjusted. I'm not that far apart. I don't know. Should I sculpt the mouth in? Good. It has one eye bigger than the other. That looks fun. You know, I've never made a real snowman before, so I don't know. I'm going to leave the mouth off of it. Screw it. Um, I mean, I have, but living in Houston, that's, you know, your snowmen are about, I don't know, about two handfuls of snow mounted up on the ground with some sticks in it. Um, I've been to Colorado in the snow, but we didn't. We didn't stop to... Well, we played in the snow, but I wasn't like, ah, huh, I'm going to go make a snowman. There's that. Once again, because not living in it, you know, you don't really think about all the fun things to do in the snow besides it's cold. And then we'll hardly need any of this. Let's take off a slice. Probably should be bigger than that. Let's make it like that. Let's go a little more. Warm it up. doesn't want to mold right. It's kind of crumbling. Okay. Once you get it mostly homogeneous, then kind of roll it into a little cone. If it looks a little long, just take a bit off. Put that back with the rest. Now that's probably. I'm trying to do it. That's what I was afraid of. It's a little big. Let's try and push it. Around. See, that's the other thing that's for you. I'm gonna mark it. Okay, 
Should be good. Just a little snowman. I'll bake it and it'll go in the holiday town. Guess I'll come bake it and then I'll show you how it turned out. There we go. Okay, be back in a few, I guess. Okay, well, here it is. Baked for 10 minutes at 300 degrees. Made another little one. Uh, I tried pulling it off the sheet pan too quick and they separated. So just a little bit of modeling glue in between there. I made a hat. Um, I'll show you how I did all this, but I um, can't tell you all my secrets. Maybe I'll do another video. You'll have to watch something else I do. That might work. That's called making content, right? I will tell you how I made the candy cane. Just take... Um, two colors and twist them together roll it it was larger and you just kind of just keep thinning it out if, it, if the uh, starts to look like it's untwisting kind of just keep adding the twist into it so I can get it to do it yeah see then there you go that's actually how they make candy canes Dif different color uh, pieces of the candy so there you go. That's how you make some little snowmen with um, poly clay. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment. Anything uh, you want me to try and make, let me know down in the comments. And uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, get out and do something.